This year, more than 8,000 brick and mortar stores will close as more and more consumers buy exclusively online. But while shopping malls are hurting, there are some retailers that are thriving these days. Paula Tutman inside Detroit's Metro Airport where shops are seeing a boom in business. Paula. Everybody has their favorite shops at the mall, right? But here's a question for you. Am I really at the mall right now? It's actually the Delta Terminal at Detroit Metro Airport, and Kathy loves it. Finally returning to Florida, where the lights are finally back on. I love Plum Market. I love the Brookstone, the magazine place, it's, and you can get Saunders chocolates. I always make a point of getting here early enough to shop. You don't have to look far to see brick-and-mortar establishments closing, but airport retail is up, way up. A recent survey by Slate Magazine shows projections of airport retail stores topping $10 billion this year and growing. Tanya Allen is part of that statistic. With her partnerships with Paradis Lagadier and Jose's Branded Foods, she owns a combined 15 retail establishments and food concessions at Detroit Metro. And she says her sales are on the rise. Well, they're shopping here because I, I don't want to say they're captive audience. They are captivated <laughs> audiences. Okay. And we try to provide retail products and items that will captivate them when they're here. Anecdotally, it makes sense. People are busy. When they travel, there's a confluence of perfect scenarios. They have to arrive at the airport early to get through security. They have time to kill. And because they're in travel mode, their wallets are already open. Cha-ching. Um, well, I'm from out of town, so I'm bringing souvenirs back for everybody down in Alabama, Birmingham. So I need to get something for my son to balance out my daughter. I got something for her at a store in Grand Rapids, so now i got to get something here. Airports have also gotten the message and made their terminals less like terminals and more like, well, shopping experiences that are spending friendly. Throw in the fact that airlines have cut down on freebies and you have a recipe for success and a near license to print money. The food overall is up 6% in the airport. The Economist right here is up 25%. Now, Michigan Sports, yes. you said you guys are up 68%? Yeah, about 66%. 66%? Yes. Even a mini plum market at the airport is packing them in and bringing up the stats. It is the busiest uh, restaurant in the airport. We service about 2,000 clients a day. So Karen, you can see it really is a perfect storm for retail success. So I have a little bit of a question for you. Here's your Friday quiz. What do you think is the highest volume item sold? The most sold item inside the airport? Guesses? Okay, I'm gonna go for a food item. Um, maybe something, help is this lame? I'm gonna say like a salad or something like that or is that a horrible choice? No, no, that no. I okay. I can see why you would say that. A lot of people look for healthy water. options. Okay, what is it? Yeah, nope, it's water. Water, bottles of water. Oh, I guess that would make sense because you got to lose it at the security it's, thing. Always think yes, about it is a money. license. <laughs> that's right, license to print money on that one. Oh, I have to admit, I do like shopping at the airport. It is kind of fun. Great story. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Have a good weekend.